Hi everyone, my name is Bruce Schwartz. Thanks a lot for stopping by to check out my research and what I'm finding. This is an asteroid or an unknown object, let's just call it. This is in my photo. It's so close when I zoom up, you're gonna think that I stuck a planet beside a post in a picture and it's really there. I was looking at Orion constellation in the bottom there and over top of me, this light, it was coming to Earth, and this is an asteroid or, wow, planetoid? No, whatever. I don't know the size. It'd have to be pretty big to be a planetoid. I don't think I'd see it that small. It was in Earth's lower atmosphere. I really, really, really do believe that. And, of course, NASA and other scientists did declare that two to three objects were in our lower atmosphere, unknown objects inside of the solar system, guys. Neutron stars colliding recently, last year. All this stuff was happening. The sun, plasma coming out of the sun, massive coronal ejections that were registered, I think the biggest ever last year. This was all going on and celestial objects were being spotted by several channels, several scientists, several big telescopes in 2017, and it goes on more and more. Now, is this an asteroid? Whatever it may be, you know, it could even be a UFO. It could even be a spacecraft. It was damn close. I was outside filming it. I was, and I did put up the video a while back of it, but this photo I fell upon again and just incredible. There is a surface. When, you know, you're seeing a surface. It was close, really close, because the craters, I don't see them uh, on the moon, and the moon's massive. And this object, it was close, because I'm seeing the surface. This is an x-ray, straight up shot of the whole sky and the wire coming down. You can see that that beautiful object, whatever it may be, was so huge. If it would have hit Earth, <laughs> I don't know what would have happened, but let me tell you, it skimmed us. Look at it. Look how freaking close it is. It definitely skimmed us. All my asteroid videos were put up days, if not hours before real asteroids were actually declared. If they're big enough, as big as a football field, you can be sure I'm going to see it if I'm staring at the sky. That's for sure. For several, a day, several days, like I was doing this summer, last summer, sorry. This is the only time I've ever seen an object that close and got it in a photo. But I'm telling you, it was white, so bright, everything's white in space from here when we're looking at it with the naked eye. Our eyes, our cone cells are not registering the color, that's for sure, we won't see it. But this object was so, so huge. I saw the lunar wave only one night too. There's things that happen that only happen once in a blue moon. And, oh, and I did get the blue moon too. But <laughs> when it happens once in a blue moon, like they say, and you register it, well, it's probably the only glimpse we'll ever get of an asteroid maybe being that close to Earth because it's definitely uh, an unknown celestial object that I caught in the photo. That's I have the original photo. I posted it here, and um, it's really inside of the photo. I got some really nice photos of the constellation of Orion. And of course, this is raw. And then you have to process it to get the color out by enhancing it, obviously, and adjusting the exposure. Um, just showing the terminator line of one of these celestial objects in the constellation of Orion. Little, uh, little things I noticed in the photos. You know, that was my goal, starting to look at stars and planets to be able to see these from with my own eyes, you know? Like this object, even though I don't know what it is, yes, it looks like an asteroid, but you know, it could be many things. It's so stumping space. It could be even a nebulae. It could be um, a distant galaxy, right? But in general, this 
here's no galaxy. This was a flyby the sun. I did get a lot um, of celestial objects, asteroids in uh, the past two years. This one shaped like a number six or nine, depending on how you look at it, as it's spiraling around, sort of like a fetus position, right? Like at the head and the tail, an embryo, right? Well, these are objects that I catch going by the sun. This was going by the sun in July. And this, the moon, um, lots. And when I say lots, I mean like eight or nine in a, in a matter of a week going by the moon. Slivers, I call them. Probably not as big as stadiums, obviously, but maybe as big as cars. I don't know. But then again, they're far away. Beside the sun, uh, a celestial object. Again, could be absolutely natural. Um, we, you know, transits exist. So they're always transiting. The planets are going in front of the sun. But when you look at the size of, the, of this, like for example, Earth, you it's a speck in front of the sun. So what the heck would this object be, you know? And look at this one, another nice, obviously already known object, just didn't know which one it was, as bright as the sun, <laughs> object beside the sun in 2017, um, also a week before the corona mass ejection, and I filmed it live going by the sun, it really did go by the sun, whatever it may be. Again, it could be the sun that uh, shot out some of that plasma. That's what was going on. This hiding in the rays of the sun, we see this uh, celestial object. This is how I see raw asteroids or meteors or whatever they may be. This is the sun. Look what's inside of the sun, going inside of the sun or going near the sun because it's affecting the coronal, the, uh, the corona. That's for sure. It left the mark afterwards. High elevated wings, fire at the back, and some weird object at the front nose of the craft. Here's a photo and close up of the uh, live video that I had. This celestial object was moving over and it went even out of the camera's view. Whatever it may be, it was definitely seen in the vicinity of the sun, but again, could be hundreds of thousands or even millions of miles away from the sun still, but um, scientists were talking about it in 2017, objects, some celestial objects were bothering the sun. Look at these bars of light. You know, people say, why is there a cross behind the sun? People got mad when I posted that. And now for the most interesting finding I think anyone's ever found on the moon. I'm gonna show you the arrivals of several UFOs. It's one after the other, traffic all over the side of the moon. So here we go, P900 footage. Exposure descended, no it's not the sun. I can only imagine what people are gonna say. Well, the trolls anyways. Check it out, trolls. Here they come, UFOs arriving on the surface. I'm showing you this by slowing it down, zooming it up, like it's going by like two split seconds. Do you understand? They're arriving fast. They're going down projectiles, whatever the heck they are. They're coming to the surface of the moon from outer space. We have the proof right here in P900 footage. I'm zoomed up, maxed out into the footage to see the edge of the moon. I said, I'm going to start just sit there and film the edge of the moon. And yes, we do see continuous arrivals of UFOs. Now, I can't be any more direct than that. The proof is right here in the footage. They're beautiful objects. Look at them, UFOs arriving on the surface of the moon because most likely it's inhabited. You know, my belief, so long me. So long be the moon is inhabited. Look at them arriving on the surface. Recent footage. Share the videos, guys. Thanks.